Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Monster Super League videos. In this video here, I'm going to be continuing with some speed grinding on the extreme mode in uh, in Pegas Coast. And I'm going to be doing something that I have been looking very much forward for a very long time. And it's not catching this uh, little exotic chocolate truffle here. No, I'm going to be evolving my... Dark Mona into Evolution 3 Monarch and um, the reason why I'm doing it in this high speed video instead of making one of those hey evolve kind of videos is because right now I am really hyped and passionate about uh, providing these gaming statistics for Monster Super League so everybody out there that's going to be starting up with a game have like a better chance of finding out how much time and effort they need to put into the different things in the game and also if you're into buying stuff in games and like what value what is the value of these astro gems what is the value of actually obtaining a mona from an egg instead of going out and farming it are you looking at six hours of farming to get it then suddenly the price on on the astro gems might appear different to you so there are like so many factors that i feel the catch rate in the game effect and that is why I am like really putting a lot of time and effort into making these videos playing the game recording it doing high-speed editing and sharing it and in this video here in this farming session I just happened to catch the monas that allow me to Evo 3 my dock monarch into yeah exactly monarchs so <laughs> really 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 happy about being able to share this because it's a huge milestone for me but this year catching the super rare miho is also actually a really 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 nice thing when you start up playing monster super league you may feel like miho is not that super rare because the game kind of throws them at you when you start and you get them for completing quests but you need 16 in order to get your first evolution 3 miho and that's probably gonna be whatever element you get the first when you start playing because you're just like following the game but then you probably want to be grabbing like a second or a third for different elements to do different things in the game and once you like when you need to farm them <laughs> it's a completely different story even though they're called super rare and not rare as monas they do appear quite frequently when you unbox these different eggs so that is that is a huge plus but this one here the mona is the one that i am really really hyped about right now the nature mona i've said this a few times to those of you that have been checking out my monster super league videos the nature mona should be in my opinion probably like your go for it kind of astromon to start off the game because once you have nature mona that i have in my team here as well evolution 3 level 60 with some defense gems on it it's gonna be grinding you through it's gonna be immortal for almost anything you're gonna be facing in the early part of the game it will take you to the golem dungeon b7 where you can get like six star gems that you can sell for twenty thousand and even more each so that is like uh, the most important one that that you should be getting i feel is is nature mona starting out depending on what you unbox of course because there we have the important one the one that's gonna allow me to do the goodies but but yeah as I was saying it depends on what you're gonna be unboxing because if you get something silly out of your eggs you're gonna be getting loads of gems and stuff when you start the game you may want to do differently but I feel like nature mona is never really a waste to have in your arsenal of astronauts there we got the monarch and it's gonna allow me to grab a monarch as well and it's a variant I was uh, thinking quite a bit about whether or not I wanted to use this variant for my Evo 3 because my Dark Mona, she's already a variant and I kind of want to have Fire Mona as well and my nature isn't a variant so I could have saved it and just made another one or waited for the, another, the next spawn but I, I've been waiting so long to be able to get my evolution 3 dark mona and uh it's gonna be happening right now it's only 135,000 as the evolved cost of course you need to awaken it first and all that but the power is just insanely amazing there we have her oh goody pants she's gonna help me so much in golem dungeon b10 
And why is she gonna do that? Because Golem Dungeon B10 is a dark element dungeon. It is the best dungeon in the game, the one where you can get up to six star gems for every slot, diamonds and triangles and squares, and she is just silly in terms of damage. Her crit damage is nice, but she also fills up her blue power, her spell points, when she goes critting. So you can get a lot of action out of her just going area, critting like crazy in there with the right gems. So, uh, so finally, she's mine. Now I just need to get her up to level 60 before putting in the right gems and spending like a million on each gem or so in order to get it all the way up to level 15 so she can just go swing around her coral saber lands kind of whatever it is it's amazing that is the most important thing so dark mona monarch evolution 3 is now mine ready to take me all the way through b10 much faster much more efficiently and i am looking so much forward to do that but before i'm gonna be having fun in there i need to prepare for the event the shiny golden hero festival that is happening in monster super league this weekend only and i need to farm gems for that because i want to be unboxing beep loads of these 10 plus 1 egg batches because there is a heightened chance of getting net 5 Astromounts, and of course I want that plus the freebie one that you get if you pull the net 5 so I should at least be able to get two net 5s this weekend and that's always a really nice thing so before I end this video here I just want to include this stuff yes I do this here is the farming session data for this video and I'm hiding the other guy but uh, I'm just gonna pull him out again 40 battles is what I did in this video here and I caught one variant and one rare Mona variant and one rare Mona, so that was pretty cool, fun, and amazing. If we add this data to like the batch of information, wow, I hit myself instead, I'm so good. This here is <clears throat> data based on only the extreme mode games I've been playing, 362 games in total, and you can see the catch rate based on these games for different things. I only caught a single <laughs> legendary, so that's not really super helpful. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be adding to this really as as we move forward. If we're just gonna be all crazy pants on the data, then we have the total summary of what I have been catching, a little like spreadsheet like data here. And I think the most important piece of information here is that you're gonna be catching something or be offered something of interest to catch one in 19 games and since I found out that the exotics and rares share spawn then we can also see like one in one in about 30 games is where you're gonna be catching a rare or exotic so that is pretty cool I've only found a single legendary so I don't have like a lot of good data about it because I could have been really lucky, but I could also have been in bad luck. So once we start finding more legendaries, we're going to be able to use that information for a little bit more. So guys, that was what I had to share in this video. Evo 3 Dark Mona, here I come. Thank you guys very much for watching.